Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the WordPress Quick Tricks, we are going to see how to change the style of our bullets in the lists and how even to change the color of these bullets. We are going to use the uh, built-in WordPress uh, CSS styling. We are going to see how to make this. Okay, so that's test post. So in this test post, I'm just going to add a list. Okay, and we add item one, one, and we add item two. So that is the default uh, styling of the bullets. That's how it looks. If I go to preview, okay, you can see that that's how it comes coming by default. So if I turn again. Uh, to my post and I need to change these policies. For example, there are defaults for this. There's the circle one, which is the round uh, one, the, the open round one, which is comes if you make a multi-level list. And then I will go to my dash, that's the normal dashboard. I will go to uh, appearance, uh, customize. And I'm going to see here to additional CSS. Okay. If you know a little bit about CSS, we are going to add simple classes here. So if I add, uh, for example, dot square, that's how to make a class. That's a, a generic name, square, not not specific name for, but just to remember it. And I'm going to add here list dash style. You can I will put you this exact code. You will find it on our blog. Uh, how to write it exactly, so I can take, make copy and paste. I'll be making a post for this for all of these videos. How do you make these uh, steps? Uh, and you will find copy uh, codes to copy. Uh, okay, and this one I will using square semicolon. Okay, and then I will publish uh, this uh, this class. Okay, and then I go back to my list here. You have here in the side panel you have advanced. I am going to add additional CSS square. We save draft here, and then we go to preview. You can see that it changed it to square. If you turn here, you can see it is still the default circles, but when you added this additional CSS here, it's coming in your preview as squares. Okay, if you add a multi level listing, yeah, for example, if I intended this item, it will be coming to this uh, round circle, so I will make or open circle, I will make the preview again. And you can see that the first one is square, and the second one is the default uh, rounded item. Uh, okay, now uh, we are going to go a little bit uh, deeper. So, uh, following the same style we are using today, I'll make uh, some classes here. Using these classes, you can make a lot of things, but uh, I'm showing you because uh, you can now use your creativity to, to add another item. So, I'll be adding dot red, for example, and I'll be using color red, semicolon, and then I'll be using Another uh, class dot black. Black is the name of the class. Dot is the denote to CSS or styling sheet that it is a class. And I'll add here color black. Semicolon. Okay, and then I will publish. Publish meaning that these classes will be saved to uh, your installation of the WordPress. And then I will come here and uh, I will add here. If you come here, for example, and add red. Okay, you see this is draft. You'll find nothing changing here. But if you go after say draft is saved, if you go to preview again, you can see that everything now is turned uh, to red. But I don't like this. I don't I like this to, to make them my polish only to red and the items uh, to black or vice versa. I'm going to show you now in a moment how to make this one, to make the, the polish in a color and the items inside in a color. But this way it's no way that I go back to edit as HTML as it. Uh, you need uh, when you go to HTML, the best thing is to make a duplicate. So I will go back to edit visually, and from here I will duplicate. Okay, and I'll be working on the duplicate, keeping my original uh, block. Okay, and I will convert this one to edit 
as HTML. Okay, and from here, uh, I'm going to this list item. Uh, I'm going to add. I'm not going to change here because changing from inside the tag of the list is not affecting the list item because it's taking its it's inheriting its uh, properties or styling from uh, the list itself from from this one. So here I'm going to add another inline styling which is called span. That's its open tag, and I, after the item one, I'm going to add its closing tag. Span. Okay, sorry. Okay, and then in the opening tag, I'm going to add class equal black. Okay, and let we save draft, make a review, and see how our list will come. Okay, you can see now that item one is coming in black. We can do the same in item two. I will taking uh, all the span, the opening span with the style black. Control C, copy. I'll put it before item two. Control V, and then I'll be copying the uh, closing tag of the span, and I'll be adding item after the text of item number two. Okay, and then you can return here from to edit visually. But you see that the items are the same, and I will go to preview again. Okay, now we know how to change the style of your list and to change the color of your bullets, and you, you uh, change the uh, bullet type uh, to square and round. Also, in, uh, in the blog, I'll be showing to you the different types that you can. Thank you very much for following so far. I hope you now learned a nice uh, trick. See you in coming videos, join, subscribe, share the information.